Hey guys, my name is V. Welcome back to my channel. Please subscribe. So from the title of the video, today we're gonna do a simple makeup routine. You're gonna get to it with me because I'm about to get out of the house. I'm just going to show you a few makeup products I use. Disclaimer, I'm not a makeup artist in any way. I just find this I just find this way simple and easy for somebody who's who are, who's just starting to do makeup. As you can see, I have no makeup on. Yeah, so um, I, I want to get out of the house and I just wanted to shoot this video before I can go out. I want to give you a story of how I was dropped as we do my makeup. Let me just show you the makeup products I'll be using, then we can get straight into the video. So, for a start, I'll be using this face primer. So, I'll be going in with this face primer, the first thing. I'm going to use this makeup, this mirror, so guys don't worry if I'm not like really looking at the camera. This primer is really good and it helps it helps my skin. I really I have like really really dry skin. Also guys, I decided to link my edges before you can start the video because just to save time, to save on the whole thing. I'm going to do my brows, then we can just go straight into the video. I'm done with the eyebrows, so we'll go straight into the video. I'm just doing a, a simple makeup routine, something that I, I normally do every day. Okay, not every day because at times you just guy is tired, this is sad. At times I just don't do it, but this is something that I normally do, and I find it so simple and easy to do. I normally go in with this eyebrow pencil, it's brown in color. And then also go in with my pro concealer yeah so this is what I normally use to just make my eyebrows just look outstanding it's a legal pro conceal so I remember so I remember it was on a Monday I remember that day so well and I don't I think you guys from this story please comment down below if you've ever experienced what I experienced okay so as we as I give you the story, I'll be doing my makeup. I'm using the foundation Maybelline Urban Cover, and it's it's actually full coverage. I remember so well. It was on a Monday, and KU were having a strike. So this day, I decided let me not go to school because that would just make up trauma fair, you know. So I decided let me just stay. Let me just stay back and have a rest. Maybe watch a movie. Yeah, just relax because school can be really tough. So the memo going around from the pre previous week and we're going to, the, school, the school are going to have a strike. So I decided let me not go to school. So that day my friend called me because she knew of the strike. She lives like where she lives from where I live to her place is it's a, a long distance. So she asked me if I can go just pay a visit, you know. So I decided and told her, let me come with a friend. So I called my friend and I informed her that we're going to visit this other friend. Let me call my let me call my friend, my friend that was to visit doll. Let me call and let me call my other friend Bear. Okay, so I called Bear and told her, let's go. I'm going to visit a friend. Do you want to accompany me? Because now that school is not going to happen, let's just you know move around. So she said, yeah, it's fine. So we decided. We prepared, we got ready, and then we got out. So from where my other friend lives, you have to like take to Matatus from where I stay. So we took a Matatu from where we from where we stay because my bear lives around 
the same place as where I stay. So we took a matatu to town. So my friend called, doll called, and she told me she needed some groceries that I should pick some groceries for her from town. So I decided to go purchase some groceries, some tomatoes, onions, mixed veggies for her as she requested. Okay, so at that point I was just, I think I was confused at that point. I can't really remember. This is normally how I do my foundation guys, so don't, don't even, don't even complain or look at me like, yeah, this is how I normally go in with it. So at that time I was just going in and look at looking at what I can take, I can carry for her. And a friend of mine called. A friend of mine just called me and informed me that okay, I, hey, are you okay? And I was like, yeah, I'm fine. I'm doing fine. At that time she had already known of the strike and she was just checking up to know if I'm doing okay. So I was like, yeah, I'm doing fine. I'm not even in school. And she was like, oh, okay, it's fine. I was just checking up. So our conversation ended and I decided to just take my phone, placed it in my sling bag. I had like this black sling bag I had carried and that sling bag like it flips, you know, it's, it has a zipper. But then, okay, this is how it looks. So if you open it, it's this way. So you can just flip it. So after we ended our convo, I decided to just take my phone, dropped it inside, but I didn't close the zip. I just flipped the bag. So at this point, I think I was a bit confused or mixed up, I can't remember. But I just picked a few, I picked the tomatoes, the onions, blah, 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 and all that. Paid for it. And at that time, the person, this is now when I knew I was confused. Because the person, I paid for the groceries. But then, I had given her excess money and I didn't even remember to pick my change. So, from where the market is, it's on this other side of the road. But uh, the, the, from the stage, the place where I was supposed to board a matatu to her place is like 20 bob. So I had to just like cross the other, the other, I had to just like cross the road to this other side. Okay, so as we do that, I'm just going to like blend in my foundation. So at that point, I just crossed and when I go to the other side, I realized I've like left my chain. So I decided to just go back and ask for it because that person was, I think that person was actually like so mean. He didn't even bother to like tell me, oh, you've left your chain. But anyway, I understand because, you know, life. So at that point, I just decided to go back and ask for my change. But when I got back, he was not there. So I don't, I don't really know how this whole story worked. I can't even know who took my phone. Yeah, guys, I was robbed. This was so crazy. So I don't know how it, how I lost it till today. Because when I crossed back asking for my change, the person who was, the person who was like selling that place had, had like gone, you know. So the, I, 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 there was somebody else selling, there was somebody else selling beside him. And I asked him where? That guy was and he was like he's coming he's gone somewhere the other side of the road he's just coming back so i decided to wait and in that process the person came back i asked him and told him i have not taken my change so he gave me my change but he was acting a bit weird he was like i don't know i can't explain it but he was he was even sweating in front of me Maybe he thought I really know what he had done. Okay, I really don't know if it was particularly him. I really don't know, honestly. So, I decided to... I didn't even check at that time if I had the phone or not. I just crossed back and boarded the matat. And at that time, I, I was with my friend. I was still with my friend. And at that time, I was still with my friend. So, we just crossed the road. But in the matatu, and I remember that matatu was actually full. No, it was not full. They were like, they needed two people. So my friend sat in front and I had to go all the way to the back. And the guy who was sitting right next to me was a bit odd. I don't know if, no. 
that is when uh when when i when i lighted and that is when i was like how much that guy who sat beside me how much that guy how much the conda i was so confused and i was mad at the same time so the mat so we just boarded and we were on the way i didn't even check i didn't remove my phone or anything i didn't like check it the moment we just i lighted i decided to just check what time it is so that was the moment i had like a shock like a serious shock just checking your pocket and you find you don't have your phone okay you guys i know you look a bit dusty but i'll make this whole thing don't worry so digging into my bag i didn't find my phone and uh, at that at that point i was just telling my friend did they give me my phone you check your bag just check your bag right now because i can't find my phone i was just looking all over um the the shopping bag that i had carried the grocery i was just checking inside my phone was not there looking i was i even turned my my sling bag up so i don't like oh my god i don't have my phone so i requested and told my friend just call my number so that i can know where my phone is so she called somebody else this guy actually was a bit encouraging you know i don't know if you've ever experienced this because this guy was like hello you've dropped your phone here in town uh, where are you at maybe i can just drop it back maybe i can just give it back to you uh, where can we meet i was like i'm in this place and he was like okay i'm i'm still in town but you can I'm still in town, but then he, he actually told me he was in a hurry to go somewhere else. He's the one who actually suggested, let's meet at this particular place. It's so like, you know, from where I was to town, there's this center. Like, let's meet at this place. So it's like, okay, oh God, you're such a good guy. And he was like, and when you come, could you buy a key too because I'm, I, I'm returning your phone. And I was so happy. At that, at that time, I was thinking, oh my God, there's such people who exist, who still exist. Because, you know, Where's in Iwengi? There are a lot of thieves out here and it's so rare for you to find somebody who's just like, I'm returning your phone, where are you? Let me let me bring it to you. So, so happy. I told my friend, at that time even, you know, from town to, from from where we were to town was 100 bob. Was 20 bob, boarding a matatu. But when we took a motorbike, imagine to the center, it's not like I was not even going to town. I could even see, you know, the place he told me, let's meet at this place. I could even see it from where I was. But the person who was, we, bought, we took a motorbike, the person the, the person who carried us refused to take like 50 bob. He just wanted 100 bob. So, so desperate, me with my disparity, I was like, like, no, okay, let's just go, let's just go. I want my phone. So we went. And at that time, that was just like the worst moment of my life. You know, this is a phone. I struggled to work and just buy myself this particular phone. And I, I really loved that phone because it had like everything. It had my school work project. It had my school notes. I had, you know, it had like everything. And I was so mad. I was so angry. I was thinking, oh my goodness. What am I going to do? It's like starting from square one. So we took a motorbike. Yeah, and then when I go to that place, immediately I got, I called back my number. Guess what? Guess what? I was off, man. I was so mad. My number was off and I just sat down, you know. I just sat down in the streets. I just sat down there and I was just like, oh my goodness. I have like my SIM card there. That guy could have even returned my SIM card then. I had like, I know I, I had to like renew it. But then the whole process, you know, I didn't have enough cash with me at that time also. I was just so mad. I just sat down for like an hour, you guys. I was thinking, why did this guy even bother telling me let's meet at that place? Yet, he knew very well he's not going to return my phone. You know, you, know, you guys, I've even had stories. I've even had stories. My my other friends told me, there was this friend of mine who informed me that 
after her phone was taken, that guy was chatting with her. Imagine. That girl's like, oh, um, I have your phone. Like, they were chatting. She had to, like, get another phone and text her number. So she was like, please, Aki, just return my phone. They were chatting so well. And these people encourage you. They're like, don't worry. I will return it. Just like, name a place you can meet tomorrow and I'll bring your phone. But then the next day when you text or call, your number is off. That means, obviously, they've changed the whole thing. And it's so bad. It's so bad. So I'm just going to finish up with my powder just to, like, make my face. Just to, like, make my face look all natural. So at that time I sat for like an hour. My friend even my friend didn't even talk. She was like, I'm so sorry, it's so bad. And I was just like, it's okay, it's okay. She didn't like force me to wake up and go. She just sat there telling me, Don't worry, don't worry. And she was it was nice having somebody because I don't know how I would have reacted. I know it's a phone, I know it's just a phone. So I called my friend and I informed her I've lost my phone and she was so sorry. She felt like it's because of her because she told me to come to her place. But I was like, don't worry, these things happen. That was, that was like the fifth phone I had lost, you guys. It's like I lose phone every year. Every year, wheezy. Every year, like, they're just thieves. It's like, it's like a replay of my life. Like, I have to lose a phone every year. I just, we just went to my friend's place, stayed for a bit because I was bored. I didn't even feel like staying for long. I was so bored. We stayed for like 30 to one hour. We stayed like for, for an hour. And then we just, I just, then we just traveled back. Like I got back to my place. And at that time I was phoneless. So what I did the first thing, of course, is to secure my SIM pin. To secure my SIM card because I didn't have any pins in my phone. So I just went to like renew my SIM card so that the other one can be blocked so that it can access anything. Yeah guys, that was like the saddest story. I feel like these thieves now, they're just too much. I can't be losing my phone every year like, come on, am I buying a phone for, I'm just, it's, it's like I'm buying phone for people. People are just, you know, I've, my, my, the previous phone I had, I had before this one, someone just grabbed this imagine, on the streets, someone just grabbed it. I was, I, I think I was, I was also careless. I used to just like carry my phone in town. So someone just grabbed it, grabbed it from my hand. And that is how I lost my previous one. Then this one also, someone pickpocket, pickpocketed me. And one funny thing about all these phones, they're always new. My previous phone, I had stayed with it for like a month. This one, I had stayed with it for like three months. It was looking so good. No scratches, no crack, like it was just a good phone. Yeah, so you guys, you can comment down below on how, if such things have ever occurred to you or if you've ever like gotten into a situation like mine where you're actually chatting, even where you're like, like actually talking to that guy, you know, because the previous phone, the, the one that, that was grabbed, I just went off immediately. That guy like switched the phone off immediately. So I'll just be finishing up with this setting spray. It's Maybelline Lasting Fix. Yeah, and it's actually a good one. So. I'll also be going in with this highlighter. It's bronze in color and just to highlight and make my face a bit glowy. Also, I'll be going in with this lipstick. It's maroon in color. And just to finish the whole look. So guys, this is like the final look. Yeah, so this is just, these are the, just the few products I use. You can also get my makeup brushes. 
Um, this one, my foundation brush, I got it from Beauty Beauty Bar Cosmetics, but the other ones I got them from Dubai. So guys, please, if you've ex if you've ever experienced such a if you if you've ever been in such a situation, please comment down. Don't forget to like my videos. Don't forget to subscribe. Also. Thank you for the love so far. We are on the road to 300 subscribers and I'm just so excited. I'm, I'm, I'm just motivated to do this even more. And you guys, if you've, if you've forgotten to subscribe, please subscribe. Please subscribe. We, we, in this channel, we subscribe. So please hit the subscribe button. And um, don't forget to watch my previous videos too. You can just check out my previous videos. So I guess this is where we end our vlog. Till next time.